Hi everyone, I'm Sandy and welcome to my channel Sandy's Happy Plants. Today I'll be talking about fungus gnats, what they are, how do you know if you have them and how to get rid of them for good. So I wanted to make a video about this because uh, recently I've had a few people message me and email me uh, with their problems uh, with fungus gnats and ask me how to get rid of them. So I figured, okay, let's make a video about it and teach you guys how to get rid of these pesky little critters. So what are fungus gnats? They are tiny little creatures, tiny little fly-like um insects probably like around a quarter of an inch maybe even smaller um, they look like tiny little fruit flies so if you if you see in your plants uh, when you move the plant or just uh, disturb the soil a little bit all of a sudden there's these these uh, flies flying out then you know you got most likely you got fungus gnats I think also the problem is sometimes you might not notice them right away because you might just think it's just a fruit fly um, but there is a difference. They do look very similar to fruit flies. I have thought that in the past too. It's just a fruit fly, but no, they're actually fungus gnats. There's a difference. And uh, they actually lay their eggs in the soil and then the larva can actually feed um, on on um, the root system. So it's, it's good to get rid of them right away when you notice them. The adult fungus gnats actually feed on fungus or mold in your soil. And that's how you end up getting them in the first place because if your soil is too wet, um, it can create mold in there or fungus. And then um, latent larvae in the soil that you might have gotten from, uh, from soil that had them in there, it, it, that happens all the time. Um, they'll hatch the eggs will hatch and uh and then it will create a fungus gnat problem and also like who knows where these things come from they just kind of come out of nowhere yeah isn't nature amazing <laughs> um uh, so sometimes you know these things just who knows where they come from but that's what they're attracted to they're attracted to wet soil so overwatered soil so the first step of getting rid of fungus gnats or not get them in the first place is not to overwater your plants most plants that like to stay moist do not want to be wet. So there is a difference. Uh, moist is just when the soil is still fluffy, uh, just has a little bit of moisture left in it. And wet is if it's all like compacted and just soppy wet in there. And um, also if you have it in, in a bright light, like in the window, uh, and the soil is moist, then this fungus, this mold is going to start growing in there because it's also, it's like an organism, right? So, um, and that's what these fungus gnats are attracted to. So the first step in preventing uh, the fungus gnat infestation from happening in the first place is uh, just to not overwater your plants. Like be very aware of, of not, just not oversaturating the soil all the time. And other than your plants that uh, like to stay moist, just water when your plants uh, get dry. So when the first couple inches of your pot um, of your potting medium feels dry, then you can water. So um, so as to not uh, create that fungus in your pot. Okay. So, but what if you already have them, right? So one thing you can do is uh, use a three percent hydrogen peroxide solution. So um, mix one part hydrogen peroxide with four parts water and you water the plant with it. And what this does is um, it kills the, the gnat larvae uh, that, that live in the soil or that have that are hatching that are, you know, the eggs and the larvae that are in the soil. Um, and if you do uh, water your plants with this, water them when the soil is, um, is dry, like the, the first layer of the soil is dry. And you will hear like kind of um, like a fuzzing, uh, like a, uh, like an effervescent sound when you water with that, with a hydrogen peroxide solution. And that's totally fine. It's not going to harm your plant. It um, Hydrogen peroxide breaks down in the soil once it's done its job. So it's completely harmless to the plant. And it should work the first time. But sometimes you might have to do it a couple times if uh, the pesky little buggers stick around for, uh, you know, hold on for a dear life. <laughs> Poor things. Well, not really. <laughs> but yeah, so hydrogen peroxide solution. Mix it. Uh, one part hydrogen peroxide with four parts water and water the plants with it. And uh, I would do all the plants that you see that have, have the, the problem uh, before it can spread to your other plants. Another thing you can do is repot the plant. So if you notice that you have a lot of larvae in, in the soil of the plant, just um, take it out of the pot 
uh, take all the soil off of it, uh, off of the root ball, wash, wash the roots with water, make sure there's nothing left of the original soil, and discard all the old soil, wash out the pot with soapy, soapy water, and then repot the whole plant into fresh soil. And then uh, just uh, adopt a healthier watering regimen. So only water when um, the top inch of the soil is dry uh, as to not attract uh, new fungus gnats to the pot. Another thing you can use is insecticide. There are certain insecticides on the market that do kill fungus gnats. And uh, you would usually spray this onto the top of the soil um, of your plant, at, like of your pot, uh, because the adult gnats are actually born on the surface of the soil. Uh, there's no need to spray the actual plant because they don't really live on the plant, they live in the soil. So you wanna spray uh, the insecticide onto the, the soil, the surface of the soil, and that should also kill them. Another thing you can use is those yellow sticky traps. And um, you know what I'm talking about, those yellow things that almost everyone has sticking in their pots. I personally hate them. Uh, not that they don't work specifically. I, I guess they, they do work for the adult uh, fungus gnats. So the premise is that they uh, catch the adult gnats onto the sticky traps and then the adults can't lay any more eggs and thus there won't be any more fungus gnats. So, but in, uh, in my experience, I find that people just get these yellow things and they stick them in their potted plants and then these things just end up sticking in the plants forever with tons of dead flies on them. And it just looks it just looks bad. I mean, you have plans to make your house look better, right? Um, you want them to decorate your home with, you know, you want to decorate your home with beautiful plants and, and not have all these um, yellow things sticking in your plants with dead flies on them. So uh, I don't think they're ideal. Uh, they do work if you have a crazy infestation of the fungus gnats and you just want to kill as many as you can at first before dealing with the problem, but they shouldn't be your only solution to, to this problem. So I would use the sticky traps only if uh, you don't have another option and maybe you don't have time at the moment to deal with it and you just want to kill the adults or trap the adults for now. Uh, but I would really uh, advise you to deal with, with a systemic problem as soon as you can and not just use the yellow uh, sticky traps because um, in my experience people just end up having them in their plants for months and months and months and uh, it just looks ugly. Another thing you can use to get rid of fungus gnats is what's called a biological control agent. So um, they are called parasitic nematodes and what they are basically is a microscopic uh, roundworm and they will actually devour these um the gnats of the uh well the, the larvae of the gnats from the inside out i know it's pretty grotesque actually so basically what what you do is you um you pour these microscopic worms in a solution on top of the soil and uh they will then seek out the larvae and um, the larvae ingests these microscopic worms and then the worms will um, proceed to devour um, the larvae from the inside out. And it should take about four to five days for um, them to all be dead. Uh, yay! <laughs> That's a little grotesque, but yes, another thing you can do. And uh, you can you can order this online or lots of garden centers have this. Um, yeah, so it's a, called a biological control agent um, and they're called parasitic nematodes. So just to recap all of this information, uh, in order to not get fungus gnats in the first place, make sure you don't overwater your plants. Uh, water them only when the first couple inches of the soil is dry. Uh, you can use an insecticidal soap, you can use a hydrogen peroxide solution, uh, you can repot the plant, you can use yellow sticky traps, or you can use a biological control agent. So I hope this has been helpful to you. Uh, leave me a comment in the comment section what you have done to get rid of your fungus gnat situation. And also, uh, if you would like me to talk about something in upcoming videos, questions you might have about your plants or plant care, let me know. And uh, like always, if you like my content, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Bye.